Welcome to Badger Claw. You boys really came through. Yes, sir. I don't mind saying I'm a bit impressed. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit Joe, sir. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred? I kind of lost track with my counting a couple times and had to start over. Just sort of estimated there at the end. You say you got this from a woman? Yes, sir. He didn't even have to put his hands on her folding flaps. She's an old woman? No, sir. She's a youngin'. She's even younger than that boy you got out there keeping look at on Yon Canyon Spire. Hmm. What you think, loathsome? Hmm. Yeah, uh, Moses, but long. Jumping Jack How long rabbits. have you been standing there? You are one mean-looking fellow, mister. You seem Lionel? He looks like maybe the coyotes bit off part of his face. Like maybe he might also bit off the faces of them coyotes. I think if a coyote bit his face, he would then hunt that coyote down and bite that coyote back until it yelped out an apology. I think he'd hunt that coyote's family down and exact his revenge. Like maybe he'd bite the faces off even that coyote's cousins. Or even the distant relatives. Like even the ones that coyote don't see at reunions. I don't think even a second or third cousin of that coyote would feel safe knowing that this fella's got it out for his kin. I think even if I was a dog, I'd just run the other way if I seen him coming. Wouldn't even have to be a coyote. I just took tail and go out wallering off under yon porch. You know, I bet just by looking at him that he has eaten a dog before. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. Let's find out. Mr. Ugly, sir, my friend and I was pondering if you's ever eaten a dog. You eat dogs, sir? Mm. Not a talker, I guess. A lot of money, ain't it, Lilson? Mm, yes, it oh, is. Well, there it is. He's got a nice voice. Well, he'd be a good one for our choir. He's got a nice, rich bear tone. He might actually be a bear. Or a part bear. He's got similar features. Quiet, you two. Hush your grubby mouth, you bladder scrapes. You can hear us? Uh-oh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. What sort of woman keeps $400 in a hotel room? They say she's a choir teacher. No, sir. She's more like a missionary type person. Well, she's bringing yon light to this here hinterland until we shining like lanterns upon a dusky hill. For our bosoms. How does a missionary have four hundred dollars? Well, that's just a red herring. The folly of all mankind. What is this woman's name? Sally. Sally Jones. Sally Jones. Mm. Well, now, that's just what she likes to be called. What? Huh? What do you mean? What are you talking about, Jesse? Well, Sally ain't her only name. Her birth name is Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina Desdemona Applegate. Yeah. Sally Jones is just what you call an alias. Mm. It ain't her real name. Alias, Jesse. I, I think it's pronounced alias. Sorry. You're going to get us in trouble if you pronounce it that other way. An alias, huh? Who told you this? Yeah, how'd you come to know this? Yeah, how did you come to know this? Well, as I was fixing to leave her today, after I was done distracting her, in walked a feller she called Old Man Wilson, and they seemed to know each other from long before. And he was from back east, too. Now, when he come in, she went on and wrangled me out the door as quick as she could. But before I went on, I heard him say that her name was Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina Desdemona Applegate. Wilhelmina Desdemona. Applegate. Uh, yeah. That name rang a bell, Lowsome Mary. Hmm. The Willis McGraw gang has a girl in their employ. <laughs> so did the Rapid City Ruffians. <laughs> no, that ain't what this is. Come with me, Rabbit Joe. Where you reckon they off to? I believe they's in conference out yon window. What's it look like they's talking about? It seems likely it's about the conversation we was just having. Except now they's having it without us. Oh. Well, what should we talk about then? Well, I ain't got no ideas. You? No. Well, I reckon we'll just wait for them then. You think they's coming back? Well, if I had to predict, I'd say that only one will come back. And the other will be scurrying off in a hurry somewhere. Oh, then I hope it's Rabbit Joe that comes back. That loathsome hairy fella's too sour looking for my taste. It looks like if you took an old worn-out saddle mm -hmm. and then let a mess of wolf pups take a chew to it, you see? It looks like if a billy goat got a hold of a scarecrow, but then mm. the farmer come along and try to take a tug of that scarecrow out of the billy goat's mouth, but he's still holding on, you see, and yanking it back and forth until it's all yippity-yappity. It looked like if a salt lick got stepped on by a Holstein bull, and then a bunch of ants come 
I may start more. All right, boys, all right. It's rabbit joke. Thank goodness. On behalf of the entire Hole in the Boot gang, I want to thank you for what you brought us. Y'all done real good, real good. Well, thank you, Mr. Rabbit Joe. Them's kind words. And to show you our appreciation, we're going to let you sleep here tonight. Keep you warm. Give you a nice safe bed and, uh, yep. Well, that's it. So we's in the gang? We's going to the bunkhouse. That means we's in the gang. Well, let's sleep on it. See how things go tomorrow. But tonight, you boys have earned your right to sleep in the bunkhouse with the other fellas. Fair's fair. We done it. We made it. I'm proud of you, Jesse. I'm proud of you, Lionel. All right, so get your things and I'll show you the way. Say, Mr. Rabbit Joe. Yeah? We ain't had nothing to eat. And seeing as how we worked all day so as to bring you this here money, mm. might there be some sort of grub we could munch on before we turn in? We's mighty ravished. Our frog done hopped away to safety. Oh, well, uh, you know, I suppose we could manage something for you. I'll have Cookie rustle something up for dinner for you boys. All right. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit Joe. I knew you was the man of your word. What'd I tell you, Jesse? It's been a long day. But everything is looking mighty rosy for old Jesse and Lionel. Well, you said it, boy. You said it. Uh -huh.